a little over two years ago, Activision introduced a brand new style of matchmaking system into Call of Duty, which resulted in the majority of the card community walking away from the franchise forever. The same people who loved to play Call of Duty day in and day out for countless hours every day. But once Modern Warfare 2019 came out with this new quote unquote skill based matchmaking system, a lot of players found the game way too sweaty, way too overly competitive to be able to find any fun in it. But you already know this. I'm not telling you nothing new. We all know this, right? We've been complaining about this shit for over two years. It's all been in vain though, because nothing has changed. And I'm sure that's due to the fact that the people who could do something about this are unaware of the problem. They don't watch Call of Duty videos because they don't play COD. These CEOs and investors, they don't play video games. But you know what they do do? They read newspapers. And guess who contacted me about SVMM in Call of Duty? The Washington Post, nigga. They are writing an article about skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty. And they wanted to just holler at me to get my name and shit like that to reference me in the, in the article. Because they used something that I said in one of my videos where I was complaining about SBMM. And I couldn't be more excited about this article coming out. The guy's name is Ethan Davidson. He writes for the Washington Post uh, gamer section, I think it's called Launcher. You can go check him out. He's a legit author. I'm, I'm checking it every day, waiting on the order to come out. And I'm excited because finally, these investors and shareholders and CEOs and, you know, big wigs who don't really do shit but invest money, finally, they are going to know the truth about SBMM because calling the shit SBMM, skill-based matchmaking, couldn't be farther from the truth. Rigged-based matchmaking is a much better word. Manipulative matchmaking is way more descriptive of what's actually going on here. Because not only will they match you up against people of your own skill level, but they'll also nerf your connection to everybody in the lobby if you've been doing too good for too many games in a row. They'll put you in a lobby where you got 200 ping and everybody else got a 20 or a 30 ping just so you can have a tough time killing people. They'll even nerf your bullets, your damage to your bullets in real time. They'll randomly turn off your aim assist, your fucking bullet uh, registration. They'll just throw that shit out the window. All kind of shit behind the scenes going on. It is so fucking rigged. The patents for this shit are like 50 pages long. Front and back, multiple patents, full of all kind of little shit that they do to rig these matches, which to me should be legal, 100%. Video games, Call of Duty is a fucking sport now. We have CDL, MLG, eSports. This shit is a fucking sport. Name one other sport for me in the world where the match is fucking rigged. It doesn't exist. That shit is illegal. You can't rig the boxing match. You can't rig the baseball game. You know what I'm saying? You can't rig the football game. You can rig nothing. That shit is unethical when it comes to a fucking game. Something that people are competing in? You're, you're, you're spawning me on one side of the map while you spawn everybody else on the other side of the map over and over again just because I'm about to win and I only need four or five more kills. They do this shit on a regular basis. You spawn somebody directly behind me when I'm in the corner. You spawn somebody fucking behind a nigga just because I'm on a streak and I'm about to get my dogs and you don't want me to get a streak. Shit like that. And the list goes on and on and on and on. I even noticed the other day that every time I, I pop my dead drop so that I can continue my streak after I die, 
every time I pop that dead drop, when I die and I respawn, I respawn directly into somebody's fucking gunfire. I bullshit you not, dog. And not just once or twice, but way too many times for the shit to be a coincidence. Right? Rigged-based matchmaking. And when rigged-based matchmaking is not enough to hold you down and stop you from winning, then skill-based matchmaking will turn into destroy him mate base matchmaking and then instead of matching you with people on your skill level they'll match you up against people twice your skill level just so you can get destroyed because you have been out here destroying others now if we was at a church function right and we was playing on the playground i would understand having to chaperone every game that's played, make sure that little Timothy doesn't get his fucking feelings hurt, doesn't get his goddamn, uh, you know, scrape his bobo or some shit. But this is a fucking grown man game, rated M for mature. That means everybody playing this game is supposed to be an adult, and adults don't need somebody to hold a hand and protect their butt. Back when ping was king, so was card. I don't think it's a coincidence that the first year that Ping was not King was the same year that Card fell off and ain't never bounced back since. Doesn't matter how good the game is. SBMM gonna ruin the shit every time. Doesn't matter what else is going on. That shit is the devil. And then you breaking up every lobby after every game. Hell, we trying to have a relationship with Call of Duty, not 50 first dates. And this is why Call of Duty is dead. We don't want to sweat every game. We don't want to play rigged matches. And we are tired of you breaking up the lobbies. This shit should be just like rolling the dice. When you search for a game, it should be like rolling the dice. It should be totally random. That way if you find a bad experience and you don't like it, you can shake the dice up again, randomly find something totally different, until you're happy and comfortable and that doesn't matter that applies if you're a good player a bad player or in between everybody has the ability to back out and find a new lobby but with the current rigged manipulative matchmaking system we just keep finding the same shitholes and if you enjoyed the video be sure to pimp slap the piss out the like button for your boy leave me a comment and be sure to hit that motherfucker subscribe button and don't miss none of this Call of Duty real shit. It's the murder show. Fuck with me.